what, one of the main things I'm looking at is a dispersed city. Uh, the dispersed city is a new form of urbanism that emerged probably throughout the 20th century. Uh, and it has to do with the fact that our life in general is less reliant on the central city, on the dense, compact city as, as, as we know it, Boston, New York, Paris, London, right? With our, our, our kind of changing habits of life, we realize that most of the population, if we look at North America, for example, live in, a, in an area where the environment is, is dispersed. And in most parts, segregated, separated, and reliant on mostly one form of transportation. And I've been working on these ideas with students uh, in, different, in different courses um, at MIT, and I've started to engage people from different departments to work on larger projects with, uh, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in Israel. Uh, we're working with a kibbutz on its transformation and expansion, for example. Uh, and in Asia, we're looking uh, at kind of um, denser uh, environments outside the, the cities, which are becoming kind of uncontrollable and overcrowded. Uh, so another project we're working on is a new neighborhood for a kibbutz in Israel. Uh, which uh, is an, it's, a, it's a hybrid, it's a private public project in the sense that um, houses sit on individual lots which are owned by individual members of the community, but at the same time uh, there are many areas which are shared, which are shared ownership and shared use. So in that uh, neighborhood, for example, the car does not enter into the neighborhood, it's a neighborhood of 60 houses. The car remains on the perimeter. You use bike and, and walking paths to access your, your unit. And then you have shared facilities such as storage, as communal spaces, and shared gardens. So the arrangement is very different than your typical suburb, although it's the same density. It's not like cul-de-sacs or dead-end streets that each house has its own view and kind of turns it back to the other. But they're all arranged around clusters. Um, so the units are arranged around clusters and together they also form a larger cluster which is then kind of connected by shared paths, bike paths and pedestrian paths. The question is how can we envision the future transformation of this environment rather than just allow it to happen by itself as it did until now? And how can we control that in a way that uh, that we can produce more desirable places, more, in some places more dense, um, but in other places more self-sufficient, less energy wasteful, more productive environments which are outside the traditional centralized city.